that we have a hard time believing that this vessel that we have, I don't care how old you are, what you look like, this vessel that you have, we have a hard time believing that God can use it. That God delights in it. I mean, when I think of myself, and I know maybe when you think of yourself, you have a tendency to think about all those bad things you've done or all those mess-ups that you've done and, and, and all those things you don't like about yourself. And, and we see all the cracks. We know we're cracked. And we're saying, God can't use me. I'm too cracked. Have you ever thought that? Have you ever wondered that? Look at verse, I want you to turn to Ephesians 1, verses 6. And, and this is like the opening salvo of grace life. Ephesians 1, 6. I learned this verse when I was 18. God slammed my heart with it. And it's a hard verse to believe. But it's gotten me through a lot of things. Paul is writing to the church at Ephesus in verse 6. He says, To the praise of the, of the glory of His grace, wherein He hath made us accepted in the Beloved. That word accepted comes from charis, which is the word for grace. And it's karatau. And what it does, if you can get a vision of it, what it means is that he pursues you with grace. He compasses you with favor. And He honors you with blessing. That's all in that one word. When it says you are accepted, it's not a passive acceptance like, okay, I'll put up with you because you're my cousin. No, it's an active acceptance that he showers you with his blessing with his favor it's like it's like when you're courting that beautiful young woman if you can remember that far back boy you just she caught your eye and 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 you wanted her and you showered her with all kinds of gifts and compliments and and you went after her that's that idea when he says you're accepted in the beloved, it's more than a passive. It's an active thing. That when you come to Jesus Christ, you are put into this beautiful Savior, this beautiful, beloved Savior, Jesus Christ. You are with Him. He is with you. And because of that, God is showering upon you His total acceptance. And then you go, well, that's, that's at salvation. I mean, I, he loved me then. But man, I've really messed up since then. I've really cracked up since then. Ask yourself. If you were born again, did Jesus ever leave you? Did Jesus step away from you and say, that sin is too great. I mean, that's, I, that's the last straw. I can't take it anymore. I'm going to walk away and I'm never coming back. Did Jesus ever say that in His Word to you? No. He says, I'll never leave you. I will never forsake you. And I assure you that when He died on the cross and He knew in His heart God knew in His foreknowledge that you one day would bow before that cross figuratively and accept His Son as His Savior. And He knew what kind of sinner you were. That that sacrifice on the cross was sufficient for the forgiveness of your sins past, present, and future. And I don't care how many times you mess up after that point. You are as accepted and beloved in Jesus Christ at that moment as you were when you came and first accepted Him as Savior. Because Jesus is in you. You are in Jesus. 
You have grace life because of what he did. But the problem is, you don't believe it. You think you're, you've gotten too ugly. You think that those wrinkles are getting crowding in, that weight is coming on, and, and all those things that you don't like about it. You think that's getting in the way of you being accepted in the Beloved. But I assure you, that's a lie. You are beloved. You are accepted. You are worth showering the grace of God upon because Christ lives in you. And I don't care how ugly you think you are, how ugly you've made your life, or how badly you've messed up. Jesus Christ is in your life. If you've been born again. He's there. He has made you a vessel of honor simply by His presence. But we just don't accept it. We don't believe.